Okay, we're gonna work on this piece of text now and uh, this is what appears underneath the logo. If we just quickly take a look at the preview. We are gonna be utilizing the techniques which we learned in earlier parts of the masterclass. So some modeling techniques, some texturing and then we're gonna be doing some animation using Cinema 4D's MoGraph tools. So let's jump into Cinema. And I already have the piece of text here and this is something you should be able to download if you are trying to follow along with exactly with what I'm doing. I'm gonna take this and drop it into an extrude object and uh, I want to make sure that I am in grow shading with lines shading method so we can see where all the edges are. Let's go to our spline. I'm going to go to the intermediate points. This is already set to subdivided, but I need to max out this angle. So I'll set this to 90 and the maximum length, uh, I will leave this at five. Okay. Moving on, we can go to the extrude and set the movement in Z to zero. So this is basically flat. Then I want to hit C to make this editable. But before I do this, I'm just going to make a backup copy of the spline in case we need to come back to this. And then also this is going to double up as a guide layer when we start correcting the geometry later. So I'm just going to hide this for now and then hit C on the extrude, go to point mode and we need to just clean up some redundant points. I think perhaps we can save some time um, by not having to clean up all of this by separating the D and the R from the original spline selection because those are the only two letters which need all these segments to define their shape. Everything else is pretty much just straight edges and we can skip trying to clean up these points if by by going back to this stage where we have just the spline, let's select the R and the D and I am going to split these away from the original spline and then we have to delete this selection because it leaves behind a copy of itself. So now everything except for the D and R, they are now in this spline and then the D and R have been separated into a different spline. We can take both, throw them into the extrude object, make sure that hierarchical is ticked. But on the top side, I'm going to set the intermediate points to adaptive. And that's going to reduce the number of points which make up these letters. And the only letters which have a lot of segments are the D and the R. So then I can go to extrude, set this to zero. And then I can hit C to make this editable. And then we just need to go in here and then hit C again. Let's take these out of here and connect and delete. So then when we go to point mode, we have this. 